Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so today, I'm going to talk about motors for WPL stuff. There they are. There you go. Repositions, you can see them. There we go. Anyway, so I'm going to talk about motors. And this video is kind of an insight on stuff for kits and heavily modified ones. But um, this doesn't apply yet. I gotta make a video on a separate one, but for two speed transmissions with the 370 motor, that doesn't count. You, this is for 180 people only, so that'd be this one. So I just got this. I didn't make a video assembling it because there's tons of videos online of people assembling these. I don't need to make another one. It was just a kit, and I, I'm, I have it stocked right now. Um, well, I will say, though, WPEL has definitely upgraded in there drive shaft department it is significantly better uh, i'll get some lights so you can see that better okay oh that's kind of weird but um they have screws on the ends of the drive shafts even though these are plastic the metal ones i have don't even have screws like they got grub screws yeah but it's like they want you to modify these anyway the new ones also have steel. I think there is steel. They're magnetic, so there gotta be some form of iron. Steel pinion and steel ring gear in there for the axles. Steel bushings, not bearings. Plastic bushings, steel drive shafts. Well, axle shafts. Plastic ends. Kit, so it's got soft tires. And it's got one of these style motors in it. And that's what I'm gonna talk about. So this is a 180 gearbox. Updated one, so it's nice and got a good enough torque as long as you're not going extreme rock crawling anyway so i have these two motors here this one is pretty much the same thing that's in there this is just the standard run of the mill ebay go on there find a 180 metal casing motor and you're done it's 15 point i'm just gonna say 15 and a half millimeters thick well, tall i guess 20.5 wide, and 32 long. This one has the identical um, dimensions. The only difference is, if you probably already can tell, this shaft is much longer on this one, but that's because this one's out of a printer. So this is right up to 12 volts, so you go 3S, this one's only rated for 7.8, but you could go to 12 with this one too, to be honest, but not recommended. It's rated for 12, has a lot of low end torque. These, I know most people say electric motors have torque consistently throughout, which is true. But when you put in a speed controller, it limits the amount of torque they have, usually, that I've noticed. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when I put in the little 10 amp, dinky ESCs I get from eBay, they kind of limit the torque of even the big motors. It feels like it's it's limiting the current, too, which, oh well, is what it is. But these tend to not really care how much voltage and amperage is going through them. They'll give the same kind of torque throughout, but the speed is actually limited like it's supposed to be. The only problem with these motors is the shaft length, and they will go significantly slower than these ones. This has, I looked it up online, it's a, I'm losing good soldering, anyway, what, I'm gonna zoom in there, I don't know how to pronounce that, you can see that, you can read it, Hoydison, Hudson, Hudson, Hudson maybe, anyway, Found this online for a replacement printer for an HP printer that I took apart years ago. Still had to play to the printer. This has like a 40 turn motor. These are around a 25. So this has a lot more torque than this one should, which it does. I've done some tests with some wheels and gears, and then, like, it just, it was a gearbox that had pull weight. Anyway. That video wasn't as interesting. I was trying to make a video. It was not that interesting. Anyway. These have a lot more torque than this. Almost about one and a half times the torque of this. So that's pretty good. But 
it is really kind of slow. Like, top speed of this, probably like 6 miles an hour with the stocks motor. With this one, it's like the same, but it's got a little bit more power, a little more pep. With this, oh, I'm gonna chuck it. With this, you get instant acceleration, but it goes like two miles an hour. Like, it doesn't, it's not gonna go very fast. I tested this with, when this one was still a 180, but I wasn't doing videos then, so I might have to do some videos now. But it's got a lot of torque. So, I'm gonna maybe put one of these in here, but a different one. This one's kind of been through a lot, and I don't know how good the brushes are. I was using a printer for years, so I might get just a high turn motor. Is that all blurry? Has that been blurry the entire time? I'm sorry. Anyway, this is very high torque, not so high torque. So we're going to try to get more of these high torque ones and do some tests with the B34. And I have nicknamed the B34... The B, oh, I'm sorry, 34. It's a 24. It's a B24, guys. I'm sorry. I'm losing it today, I swear. This is a B24 BM. Basic modification. The C14 is the C14 EM. Extreme modification. So, there's that. Anyway. This one's just gonna get normal drive shaft metal gears. Well, I might leave the axles for now, but basically metal axles, metal drive shafts, that's it. And then swap out a motor for the transmission and be done. This one's gonna stay pre stock otherwise. Leaf springs and the sort has the WPL servo. It's just a decent little thing. So we're gonna do that with this one. And if I'm feeling experimental, I'm gonna get another two speed transmission. I'm going to put a brushless outrunner in a two-speed transmission. This one's only 1,000 kV. Um, I'm just going to hook up 2S to it. And I, I do have an ESC for a little 380 size brushless motor. But that motor blew up a long time ago from a friend. And I'm just going to put that forward reverse on this. And then use this in a crawler. Because these have a lot more control, it feels like. I can go really slow, I can go really fast. So, we're just going to see. Because for every volt... Oh, how is it going on? So, for every volt, it's this many RPM. So, 1 volt, 1,000, 2 volt, 2,000, 3 volt, 3,000, 2S. So, it's around nominal... So, it's going to be like 7,600 RPM, which is a little ridiculous but we're gonna try it might have to machine the shaft but other than that but for now we're just gonna work on this one with these motors and see how that goes uh thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time